Are you looking to animate an image of yourself or any image in a video? All you need to do is to take a reference image as you can see on the top left here and then a reference video. And then you can simply use the VAN 2.2 animate model to change the character something like this. This is all happening courtesy this new model from van team which is van 2.2 animate and that is what we are going to install in this video and we will check it out with few of the examples this van 2.2 animate is an advanced large scale video generative model designed for high quality controllable video creation it builds on van 2.2's foundation by using a mixture of expert architecture to boost model capacity without increasing computational cost that enables more complex and realistic motion generation and that is what we are going to do in this video so let's get started i'm going to use this ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram if you're also looking to rent a gpu on very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus Okay, so first up, let's create a virtual environment. Let's wait for it. And now let's git clone the repo of van and then we will cd into it. And now we need to install all the requirements from the root of the repo. And while it installs that, let me also introduce you to the sponsor, which is iGent, that is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks, and you will find their link in video's description. And now everything is installed from the root of the repo. Simply run this app.py file, and that is going to launch a Gradio demo. And now let me access it in the browser and the Gradio demo is launched. Let me select an image from my local system and then we will see how exactly it works. I'm just going to select one of my own image. I will just select um, an AI video. I'm not sure if it is going to do that, but let me actually upload another video with one single uh, character. And I'm going to go with this man with candle video. Let me play it for you first. So this is an AI generated video where a man is holding a candle in sort of a wintry forest and walking towards the camera. And I want this man to be replaced with this image, which is in the um, on the top left. Let's go down and click on generate video. And this is the animate move is selected. And it is generating the video. Let's wait. It is going to take a long time. So I will just wait and pause and then we'll show you what it generates. And meanwhile, it generates the video. Let me talk a bit more about this model and its architecture. On your screen, you can see some of the sample video snapshot, which you can generate with it. And it's simply a diffusion transformer video generator, which has been trained with flow matching. Raw videos are first compressed by a custom 3D causal variation autoencoder into a spatio-temporal latent grid and then um, it just takes it to the next level and the very first frame is only specially downsampled to handle stills clearly as you can also check out in this diagram. The variation autoencoder which primarily converts an image from latent space to pixel space is quite lightweight, just 127 million parameter and it is strictly causal over time. So future frames don't leak into the past and that is for uh, crucial, that is really, really crucial for any realistic motion. And if you look at this video, this gives you the whole picture around how exactly these van models work, including this animate one. So on top of these latents, van stacks n diffusion transformer blocks with full spatio-temporal self-attention to model dynamics across frames and pixels and also uses cross-attention to text features from a T5 FMD encoder. The diffusion transformer predicts the noise velocity over diffusion time steps via flow matching 
letting the model iteratively denoise latents into a coherent video. And then they just scale it up to 14 billion parameter for quality. And that is what we are looking at in this animate model, which we have just installed. I will tell you a bit more about the architecture, but for now, let me take you back to the generation. And it has generated the video. Let me play this. You see, not only it has just <laughs> given my face and the face looks pretty weird. I mean, I just like, you know, I'm just walking forcibly and I'll just play it again. The candle is not a candle. It is some other object, I believe. The clothing is there and some of my, you know, I think it has replicated hair perfectly well. Some of the facial features are, are also there and candle is gone. Also, I think it has tried to replicate my uh, t-shirt. So if I just play the video again, the original one, can I play both of them together? Yes, I can. What do you think? I think it has tried to replicate the expression on the original video um, in the man's face in the original video and just because of beard I think maybe and also the lip shape so but not a bad job what do you think I'll just play it one more last time there you go interesting background is same which is quite good well done okay let me quickly give you one quick um, brief around the architecture and the reason why I am explaining this is because you need to know uh, as an AI engineer that you know how this field is progressing because a lot of practicality in this model comes from the variational autoencoder and training engineer and I have done a complete video on VAE uh, just search the uh, you know channel and in this one RMS norm replaces group norm to keep temporal causality and enable a feature cache mechanism. Chunkwise causal conf 3D with smart cache padding lets a variational autoencoder arbitrarily generate long videos without blowing up memory. And the V was bootstrapped from a 2D image V then inflated to 3D before being fine-tuned with L1 and you would at least need around 75 GB of VRAM in order to generate this long of video. That's it. If you're interested in the previous WAN models, not only this one, but also WAN 2.2, WAN 2.1 and various other, just go to my channel and search with WAN and you should be able to uh, get a whole slew of models which I have been covering for more than a year and there are, you know, multi dozen models I have covered from this team. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.